Lent is a happy season. I think Lent oftentimes is mistaken too much for the heaviness of the season. I think that we look at the purple, we look at, uh, of course, the, the, the purposes of prayer, fasting, almsgiving, repentance. But I think also we have to remember that Lent is, the word itself means spring. And it even makes sense because if you think about it, it is during the season of Lent that uh, spring comes. In fact, the days start to get longer. Uh, and really at the, uh, the, the pinnacle of the Lenten season, we get to Easter and the days have uh, really gotten to very long at that point, a lot of brightness. And, you know, we have a lot to be joyful about during the season. We're joyful that we even have the opportunity to repent. We have the opportunity to have the forgiveness of our sins. We have the joy of being able to uh, have a, a Savior who promises us eternal life by his own death and resurrection. So in the midst of the penance and penitence and everything we do during Lent, we have to remember that Lent means spring, and it's also a joyful time. We're doing something a little bit different that is um, uh, focusing on the parish as a whole as opposed to you know, doing your own Lenten resolutions. Uh, we all try something, either give something up or take something on. A lot of people will say, I'll give up chocolate or I'll uh, do something that um, makes me remember that it's Lent. But I'd never had the opportunity or at least never the thought to have a Lenten experience together as a parish. And so I present ideas to the, uh, the parish as a whole, how we can all do our Lenten journey together of prayer and fasting and almsgiving. Uh, several different things when it comes to prayer, common prayer at the uh, end of every Mass. Um, we're praying the prayer to St. Michael. We're uh, giving that same prayer to those who are homebound and that are sick so that even though someone isn't able to be at Mass because they physically can't be there, they're still praying with their parish community. We do other things that we're talking about in terms of certainly Mass attendance, um, the opportunity to learn more about our faith when it comes to Wednesday nights and the presentations that I'll give and Father Raj will give. Uh, my presentations are specifically focused this year on um, Catholic devotions so that it's focused right on prayer, what the history of certain devotions are, how we practice them. Father Raj is talking about uh, uh, called to holiness and how we can grow in that. And then fasting, we're talking instead of just uh, giving up something to eat, uh, we're looking at ways that, simpler ways, but in service. So in other words, the example I keep using is that instead of going and buying my, my favorite ice cream that I have, um, I still can have my ice cream, but maybe have, have it only once a week and not twice, and take the money that I would have paid for that and go and buy canned goods or something that we can give to other people. So it's a different way of looking at fasting, but it's something everybody can do, regardless of what their health is or circumstances. It's a great way of service. And then lastly, uh, almsgiving. Um, almsgiving is something that we don't talk enough about, really. Um, you know, they, specifically we've been talking about tithing and how as individuals, as families, we can be giving 10% of what it is that we have in terms of our dollars and spe uh, spe specifically. Um, it's not about getting more money. It's about being able to say that we are taking a, a part of what we are receive each, uh, receiving each week and giving it back to God. And then as a parish, we're taking... 10% of our Sunday collections with the hope and assumption that people will be tithing themselves. And we're giving 10% of our Sunday collections to places that are in need within our community of, of dollars and cents. And so uh, actually our parish council is going to choose the different organizations. And it's only what six weeks, I think it is, of uh, Lent of the six Sundays that we uh, are focusing on this. Although, of course, the hope for prayer, fasting, almsgiving, is something that continues beyond just these 40 days and 40 nights.